Okay, today I'm going to show you uh, a better way to make the hardened paper. Um, what you're going to need is a flat surface because I have a rug. You don't want none of the stuff to get on your rug because it could stain. Um, lots of glue, depending on how much hardened paper you want. Um, so far, in my sock, I have a whole bunch of tape and glue back there, as you can see. I also have at least like four um, bottles or whatever, or three bottles or two bottles, depending on how much you want. Some glue, uh, pencil to flatten out air bubbles, uh, a brush or whatever you want, um, some pet, some regular 8 by 12, I mean 8 by 11, 8 and a half by 11, uh, copy paper, and some cardstock or poster board paper. You, right now I only have poster board, so what you want to do is um, cut it out. As you can see, I made this little template right here. So, what I did was to get your ruler. Where is my ruler? Okay. Get your ruler and measure off with your pencil. Eight inches. Wait, eight and a half, actually. Sorry. I'm trying to make that nice and dark so you can see it. Right there. Eight and a half. See that? Then, I'm going to go this way. Mark off 11. Now just go across eight like so from that eleven mark you made, eight and a half. So you have my line there. Now on the eight and a half mark you have here. Just go up eleven. Wait a minute. Alright. You might have it a bit off by a few millimeters or whatever, but that doesn't really matter. And get some scissors. I forgot about that. Sorry. All right, get some scissors. Let's just cut that out real quick. Cut like right on the line, don't cut around the outline of the line. Or inside the line. Cut like right on it, because that's where you, depending on where you made your measurement at. Now you've got your nice cardstock. Just match it off with this. See if it matches. All right, good enough. Um, if you want to have more cardstock, just make another one like I have here. Let me just cut that off right now. cut outside the outline so let me trim that up
try to get this stable. Alright. So now what you want to do is, um, take, um, your cardstock paper. Hold on, mine is a little folded. Alright, unfold that a bit. Spread a bit of some glue on it. Kind of put a little bit too much, but whatever. Spread that all around. See? Alright, you're going to need that flat surface, yeah, because... If you have a rug, you don't want that. You definitely don't want to get that ruined. Just make sure you get it all around. Spread it on the paper. Let me add a bit of some more glue. Some of it isn't spreading good. It's 11 o'clock. Come to back tomorrow at 7. Wait! Oh, Alright. Just take a sheet of regular computer paper. Don't just flop it under there. Try to get the creases out. Alright. Alright, see? You have less air bubbles when you lose the poster board paper or the or the um cardstock paper. Smooth it smooth it out nicely. Alright, I got a small air bubble right here, so Move that out. After you got that, just take your other cardstock sheet and like sandwich that one right here. Just keep doing that process. Alright, you get the idea. I'm going to cut this video off. Just take get the idea. Then after you sandwich this and you put the cardstock on top of this, just keep repeating that process. Uh, copy paper cardstock. Copy paper cardstock. Just keep sandwiching it. Keep sandwiching it until um, you get that nice consistency depending on how hard, how, um, hard you want your uh, paper. Alright, peace.